Okay, welcome. Rowan. I hope I'm pronouncing that right because on paper, we actually had a uh, <laughs> discussion in the house. What is the correct pronunciation of R A W A N? And our final um, answer is Rowan. Ro Rowan. Is that correct? Just want to make sure I'm pronouncing your name correctly. I've I've actually never seen it seen that name before. It's new to me. It's very unique. Can't wait anymore. Well, no no worries. You don't have to wait any longer. We're uh, we're building it today. We should have actually have it ready for pickup um, later this evening, but it'll probably be ready for pickup tomorrow. We could talk about pickup times because normally we're not around Sundays. That's our only days off um, for pickup, but I can get you in here to pick up. So welcome to the Saturday build show where we're going to be building a X1 gaming PC from our website. Uh, this is the X1 Gamer in white. If you're not familiar, you could go on our website, check it out. It is under under our budget builds. Um, so we do have a selection of builds that we do that are budget mindset. So basically, most bang for your buck uh, in regards to performance. So what is the most performance we can get? So overall, I think this system was around 549 or 529 on the website. Don't, don't quote me on that price. Um, but it's an excellent system overall to get you into PC gaming without it completely annihilating your bank. So, let's, uh, without further ado and keeping Rowan waiting any longer, let's get building. <clears throat> I know the camera is a little bit crooked. I gotta fix that. I'm gonna correct it right now. There we go. Might do another adjustment here, but. I had to move everything in my stream setup, which is why we really haven't uh, um, done any other streams. We're waiting on the CPU specifically for this build, which, of course, you know, when you don't have very many builds, it's hyper-focused, and this CPU, we had to actually pick up locally because it never showed up. So, um, and they said they sent resent it, and they never did, So, or I don't know what happened. The transition In the transition of this CPU is supposed to being here, it never showed up. That's all I know. So we ended up having to go grab this from Micro Center to make this build happen today because the timeline of this build is just getting ridiculous. So here we are today. We're building it finally for you, Rowan, and we are getting this set up. We also had uh, some readjustments to the stream setup that I had to make physically and logistically here um, due to some... Uh, uh, some issues in, uh, uh, with the with the logistics so that was another problem um, but we're here and we are building regardless even if we had the CPU I would have done the stream I would have just done an ad hoc setup whatever would what whatever it would have taken to get the stream going but I do have some other streams planned and we also have a couple other builds filtering in this week so we will have a couple more streams later this week um, we have uh, a we have a planned how to clean my PC stream. So basically I have let my PC go <laughs> really bad, intentionally, unintentionally to create a how to clean your PC video. And then also I'm looking at uh, another PC flip series video that I'm going to be doing. I'll probably do a live version of that and then also put together a video and put that on YouTube just so you're aware. But let's go ahead and get started with the roster today. Our build out. What are we building with? Well, the X1 Gamer, uh, we start with the Ryzen 5 4500 as our CPU, which has six cores, 12 threads, and a 4.1 gigahertz maximum boost. So it's a great processor to start with because um, you got the six cores and 12 threads. It can pretty much handle any title you throw at the CPU and can pair up with some pretty decent graphics cards without bottlenecking. So a great CPU to start with and a great CPU to use for future upgrades uh, from the RX 580 which would be the first component that I would recommend upgrading in this build <clears throat> all right so next we're gonna be plugging that into an a B450 Wi-Fi micro ATX motherboard uh, we did actually grab a aftermarket cooler which is the thermal right 
Assassin X120 SE in white, because this is the white theme that we're going with. Uh, but generally, this build is supposed to come with the AMD Wraith Stealth stock air cooler. We upgraded that cooler because I just can't do the stock cooler. I'm going to have to correct that on the website. Going forward, these builds do come with this cooler. Um, we have 16 gigabytes of DDR4, which is your standard RAM that you would need for any gaming PC going forward. Um, you see a gaming PC with 8 gigs of RAM, don't buy it, avoid it. Or if you do buy it, plan to upgrade that pretty much immediately. 8 gigs is just not enough for gaming anymore. So 16 gigs is pretty much the, the baseline for gaming now. Pretty much any game and title you play, for example, Call of Duty, with 16 gigs, you'll find that the RAM is just completely maxed out on uh, for Call of Duty. So 16 gigs is pretty much the base. Next, we have a SSD, which is a one terabyte M.2 NVMe SSD. Uh, so this is super fast, and one terabyte is enough to install a few games without having to look at more storage. But do keep in mind, games are getting bigger and bigger as time goes on. Uh, so for example, again, if you, I'm, I'm gonna use Call of Duty a lot as an example, but if you look at Call of Duty, it's hundreds of gigabytes to have it completely installed, not just a few. And there's a thousand gigabytes in a one terabyte SSD. Uh, Fortnite, as an example, is almost a hundred gigabytes now too. It, it, the, the games are just getting bigger and bigger. So storage is one terabyte, pretty much your standard for a gaming PC now, and that'll give you a few titles uh, installed, um, depending on what age the titles are. If they're older titles, you, you could definitely fit way more on there. But if they're current titles, you're going to be limited to about four to five, maybe a couple more uh, titles. Uh, the B450 we're using, it does have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built into it, which is, which is excellent. Uh, we are going to be powering the system with a 500 watt, 80 plus runs power supply, and then the graphics card, which is going to be the main portion for your gaming, outside of the pair being paired with the Ryzen 5 is the RX 580 and this is the um, 8 gig version 256 bit so great card it'll it'll uh, play pretty much any title that you throw at it today uh, in with 60 FPS or better depending on you know what your settings are um, Call of Duty for example low medium settings is going to be in the 60 to 80 range Fortnite on performance settings though you can get 120 to 150 frames per second so it just depends on what title and what settings you're really running it at but it it could still do a really good job uh, with PC gaming so without further ado let's go ahead and get started and build this bad boy I know Rowan is excited to get this PC built and in his hand so let's get it done Oh, the other problem we ran into was the case avail availability, which we've been running into lately. Um, so we are not building with the Montec, the exact case in that picture, which was the Montec um, X1. We are going to be building with the Montec Air 100. The Air 100 is actually a better case, just so you're aware. You'll be able to manage the addressable RGB versus with the X1, it would not be manageable RGB. So you can actually change the colors on this one. So that's a that's an upgrade for you. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started with the motherboard. Going to pop this open. There we go. Little M.2 screw, which we'll probably be using. Hopefully. We'll get a good zoom on this here as we go.
Got a good enough view of the motherboard. I can maybe move it a little bit over here. Looks good. Let me know if you have any questions during this part of the stream or any part of the stream, actually. Don't know why I said this part, but any part of the stream, feel free to ask any questions. I'm here to answer them. This would have been the stock cooler that we would have used, but we're not going to be using that. Got a bigger and better cooler to put in. Here's our AMD Ryzen 5 4500 6 core 12 thread processor. Got a maximum boost of 4.1 gigahertz. So that just drops into the socket, the hammer's up, and to secure it into the socket, the hammer goes down. And then it goes under a lip, and it is now secured and ready for the cooler. But we're not gonna do the cooler quite yet. Uh, just yet, we're gonna do the, uh, we're gonna install the RAM, which we have 16 gigabytes of DDR4-3200. This is by Team Group, Falcon C, T-Force, Falcon C. Uh, and this is uh, CL16, 16 gigabytes, CL16, 3200 megahertz, two sticks, eight gigs each. So these I like because they have a pretty decent heat spreader on them, so it helps kind of maintain the temperatures of the RAM as they're being used with passive cooling from the airflow in the case. That is another reason why airflow in a case is important because it cools parts that cool passively, such as your RAM and your SSD. There we go. We've dropped that into slots A2 and B2. Next up, we have a one terabyte M.2 NVMe Gen 4 SS or Gen 3, sorry, SSD. And I believe this one has a maximum of 3000 megabits per second on the read and like 2400 on the write. So it's pretty, pretty snappy drive for a Gen 3 drive back then. Hey, Army Vet, what's up? Hello from the Great North, where it snowed so hard, looking like diving through four. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I knew you guys were getting some snow up there. It got a little chilly down here again, too. Not too bad, though. Manageable. So the one terabyte M.2 NVMe just goes into the Ultra M.2 slot, and then we have an M.2 screw that will secure the drive. So we've got our SSD installed, we've got our RAM installed, and our CPU installed to the motherboard. That's good to go. Now we just have to get the cooler, and the cooler we're going to be using is, once again, the famous Thermalrite Fasten X120 SE. This one's in white, has an addressable RGB PWM fan, so <coughs> RGB, as well as... Um, Pretty good performance for temperatures on the CPU. Paired with the CPU here, it's it's going to do a really good job. We're also going to be using the Thermalrite TF7 thermal paste that is included with. There's our 120 millimeter fan. Our actual heat sink tower tower air cooler heat sink and then our hardware kit so we just need the AMD AM4 hardware for this one which will be removing the plastic brackets here and here with four screws 
once you remove those four screws you can remove the two uh, plastic brackets and then we'll add the thermal right brackets but we will be using the back plate for the that comes with the motherboard normally with AM4 you do end up using that back plate so that's why it's always important when you're buying an AM4 or AM5 motherboard that you have that back plate because when you go to look for one you're never going to find or it's very difficult to find the actual OEM back plate that comes with it uh, you can buy 3D printed ones, but they're going to be plastic. They're not going to be metal back plates. I think they make some other metal ones, but they're stupid expensive. Um, like on Amazon, if you shop around, you'll find them for like 20 or 30 bucks, which is kind of retarded because the entire motherboard is like 80 bucks. So it makes no sense to spend $30 on a part that would have originally came with the board anyway. So when you're buying used or open box, make sure it comes with that. I know a lot of people that have done that and then are in the middle of their build and have contacted us locally. Hey, uh, I don't have my backplate. Have one. carry them uh, a lot but I don't carry them anymore because they're to get expensive That is the hardware brackets that we're going to be using for the thermal right cooler. And these brackets are actually used for AM4 and AM5. Those are the same size socket. For the cooler mounting and plane. So now that we've got our brackets in place, we could drop our thermal paste on there. Better. Just to make sure we got the edges. And the next, we can drop the actual cooler in place. I always try to make sure that the letters here, which you probably can't see very well on the camera, are matching the letters on the RAM, so that they're facing the same direction. That's just for aesthetics. Aesthetics are important. go so now that our tower air cooler is mounted to the cpu we can now get the cpu fan added it's over here And then there's these metal clips that we'll use clip to the power, the air power heatsink pins. Hmm. 
and now the fan is actually mounted to the cooler which makes it so that we can plug in our cables here if we flip this around i'll kind of just show you what we're going to do here we have a pwm fan connection this is what controls the speed of the fan when it's actually spinning so it's important to make sure that that's plugged into cpu the cpu fan header uh which is located right here conveniently I gotta check that message one second. All right. We have the PWM connection. We also have an addressable RGB connection, but this is actually going to go to the hub on the back of the case once we get there. So, that be done. But I do want to clean it up. Now we are ready for the case. We'll get a little zoom out here. And we'll get the case out.
you're watching. How many zip ties do you think you use in a year? Uh, probably in the thousands, <laughs> to be honest with you. I, I would say somewhere in the thousands, army vet over on the Twitch. Nice. I'm glad you're watching. All right, so first thing we got to do is drop in our IO shield, which is for the back, covering the spaces between the USB ports, the audio ports, etc. That just snaps in. And then we do need to add a couple of studs here for this motherboard we have in our hardware kit that came with the case And then we can drop the motherboard in here. And we'll get it mounted with a total of eight screws. Guess how old I am? I don't know. How old are you? Eleven. This is your first PC. You've got better PCs than most eleven-year-olds. So, do you like what you're seeing so far? So now that we've got the motherboard installed, I'm going to send this cable to the back. This would be for the cooler RGB. It's going to be connected to the RGB hub on the back side. Looking good? You're going to buy one pre-built? Yes? Awesome. All right, so we've got motherboard installed. Next up, we can actually start tackling the backside and the power supply. Or we could just drop the graphics card in. We could just drop the card in. Let's just do that. Get that done and over with. There's our RX 580, eight gigabyte graphics card. Yeah, 16.1 would be the slot. 
and then we're going to use two screws to mount it here or secure it to the case. There we are. Starting to look like a gaming PC. Your videos are amazing. Thank you. Planning to do more with the videos, so hopefully more will come out of it here in the future. All right, so next up, we have to drop the power supply into the backside and and get some of these, um, you know what I forgot to do, because I'm an idiot? I'm very special, guys, I'm sorry. I forgot to plug all this in before we put that card in. So I might have to pull that card back out. My hands are just too fat to reach the bottom of the case. <laughs> we'll see. I might be able to get it. I forgot these, what am I doing? I'm special, it's okay. Get those routed and then we'll do the power supply because whoops because i'm special everybody already knows that though there's no secret there Ooh. difficult one better there There. This on the Here. That'll run back up that way. And then we've got a USB, or I'm sorry, an HD audio, which goes here. That's sure. And then a USB 2.0, which I think is here. Last, not least, our fan connections. I think we're going to run here. All right, flip that over and see what we get. Oh boy, lots of cable. Yeah, this card's going to just have to come out. Oops. That's what happens when you're special. Hey, what's up, Dacus Rick? What's going on, man? Is it good? Uh, Ryzen 9 3900 Pro for gaming high graphics. So it's not going to be the. Gra it's not going to be really impacting your graphics, but it is going to impact which graphics card you can run. Um, it'll help you run a higher end graphics card, but the graphics is going to be the graphics card. CPU is not going to be helping you there with your high end graphics. It'll help you with uh, running a higher end card. So, that being said, look for the graphics card. That's going to be what determines. Graphics in a game. There we go, we got our front panel power button ported out now. And we just have their USB. USB 2.0 front panel connector. 
Like that. Plugged in. And we have our HD audio and our addressable RGB connection. HD audio is our front panel audio connector. And then our adjustable RGB connector is what's going to connect our hub for all of our adjustable RGB to the motherboard so it can sync through the software. And then last, we have our USB 3.0 connector. Big one. And the bag just curls in and plug into the motherboard right here. It's notched so it can only plug in one way. Can't get it wrong. <clears throat> Now we can put the graphics card back in. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So much easier to take that card out and put it back in than it was to fight with the card in there. It takes two seconds to do that. we go now we got all those connections done 4070 yes uh, with a 3090 or a, a 3900 and a 4070 yes that would be a great system although the 30 uh, the 3900 is getting a little old now so <clears throat> depending on what price you're getting that for it sounds like it's gonna be a used system with the Ryzen 9 3900 Pro that would be AM4 paired with a 4070. It's not bad, but I would try to get it on a newer platform if you can. <laughs> Army vet building that streak one stream at a time. Yes, sir. Sorry, I missed that message. Streak continues to grow. All right, so now we can drop the power supply. Well, let's just get this taken care of real quick. May as well, for here, on the back side before we drop the power supply in. One less thing we'll have to do. doing a little bit of cable management on here. We'll get the rest of this cleaned up after we get that power supply installed. All right, power supply time. Five hundred watt going in. And a liquid cooler. Uh, liquid coolers definitely gonna probably be required for that CPU. The 3000 series runs hot. So you definitely want a decent CPU cooler for that 3900. Guess where you live? Where do you live? I have, uh, guessing you're local? Local to 
us over here in Michigan. Rizard's clean. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Welcome to the Saturday build show, sir. We try to try to build computers. In Alabama. Alabania. Alabania. Alabama. Alabama. Uh, update drivers today. Updated drivers today was out of the 50s in the gray zone got to about a solid 60 65 ish is that helping also while you're streaming the stuttering Alabania. Flip it over and plug them in. Yeah, little recordings are still chalked, though. Uh. I wonder if you get rid of the recording so you're not locally recording. It's a pain in the ass. But if you, like, upload it to YouTube, record it to YouTube, stream it to YouTube, have it recorded there in YouTube, and then download it, see if that helps, because it's less work that your machine's doing. Because if you're just recording, then um, it has to write that data to the SSD, so it might be slowing things down. It's in Europe. That makes sense, because I was like, ah, I'm not sure exactly where that is. But I'm usually pretty good with geography. Yeah, I have a writing to my recording SSD, but still, I had two videos planned and like five clips planned and scripted, all for the start of the game, and boom, scammed just like <laughs> that. Uh, had to pour some chalky milk and drown the sorrows away. Usually I do that with vodka, but... Tends to work better than chalky milk. Vodka. You drink good vodka, yes?
All right, so next up, we just gotta tidy up these cables a little bit and then we're ready to fire this beast up. Once and for all. Then we get to see if Ben actually still builds feet, right? Oh, the neighbors, uh, Posolfo and Italia, Italy. There we are, nice and clean. I mean, can't really get much better than that. Pretty clean, don't you say? The only things I don't know about PC builds, uh, it's where to put the cables and how to install the liquid cooler. So the liquid cooler is actually pretty simple, especially if it's the AIO. Just a matter of following the instructions. So it's not as big of a deal as you think it is. Uh, it's pretty simple. I've done probably thousands of them here on the channel, so make sure you go back and look at the channel if you're curious. You can see all sorts of different coolers being installed here. Uh, AIOs, all-in-ones. And then, um, regarding the cables, your motherboard manual is basically going to tell you where all your cables go. Outside of that, everything else is pretty much labeled now or should be labeled so your power supply should be labeling what it is and then you reference your motherboard manual um, basically where it goes motherboard and then the graphics card it's pretty self-explanatory where the power cord for the graphics card goes which or well the high power 12 volt high power uh, cable which is a 600 watt those are the only two GPU connector types there are. Um, 
Flakes 24 hour live stream went well Thursday till Friday, raised about 13K overall. I heard he was uh, that he was when he was around like 10K, I saw his update with his balloons. It was just ridiculous. You know, he was supposed to get in touch with me actually about that 24 hour stream. There was something that we were supposed to do for that stream. Um, but we never got in touch and connected for it, so I'll have to follow up on, with him and see uh, if he wants to still do it, maybe, as a side side stream or something. A side mission, a side quest. Yeah, I did the Sheldon Cooper Bazanga moment with all the balloons. Nice. Would you say the cheapest course of quick boost would be the motherboard, then the GPU? So I wouldn't say that it's the GPU that's really the big problem. It's just the platform that you're on. That I think that's what's holding you back. Bigly. The graphics card wasn't... The 3080 Ti that you got in there isn't terrible. So I'm surprised that you are not getting better FPS than what you are currently getting. So it's kind of weird. Something's happening in the background. Um, so that's why I'm thinking maybe the recording that you're doing might be impacting the performance overall, uh, the bandwidth, especially probably between the CPU and the and the uh, graphics card, since you're on PCIe 3.0 still with that B450, could be impacting the bandwidth there, especially if uh, if that's all on the CPU. So I think that motherboard is limiting. I'm not sure you're going to see a huge performance increase if you went to like a B550 as an example or an X570 to get to PCIe 4.0 and a little bit more lane um, on the uh, uh, motherboard of the CPU. But overall, I think <clears throat> even without recording, it's like a 5 to 10 FPS difference. That's weird. There is something weird about that. You should be getting more. There's something weird. In my opinion, with that 3080 Ti and the CPU that you got, even on the board B450 with the PCIe 3.0, because the, the 3080 Ti isn't going to really care. Uh, it doesn't have such a huge impact between PCIe 3.0 and 4.0. There is a benefit because there's more bandwidth, but it's uh, you're, you're just not going to see a huge impact. I'm talking to Grizz Arts over on Kick. We stream to YouTube, Kick, Twitch, and Facebook, and I think Twitter as well. So we streamed all the platforms at once. So if you're not seeing the chat here, it's because he's over on Kick chatting with us. But uh, yeah, I, I don't think that's going to be a huge impact upgrading the motherboard. And your graphics card should be delivering. So there's something else going on with that system. Uh, and, and in my opinion, the hardware should be getting a little bit better FPS than what you're getting. A little bit better, meaning like, I would assume Warzone should be getting at least 120, 140 in that range. That would be what I would be looking for out of that setup is between 120 and 140 FPS in, you know, relatively decent settings nothing crazy but you know performance based or competitive settings we'll call it but uh i don't know about the uh, gray uh gray zone or gray gray whatever you call it Ugh. 100 yeah so that's on the low end i would say you should be getting about 140 with that 3080 ti even though it's an older card, it still packs a pretty good punch and has some... It, it, it's, it's held up pretty well. So, there's something else going on with that system. It might be actually beneficial for you if you want to on the cheap side. Like, the cheapest thing you could try to do is reload Windows. And the easiest way for you to do that without having to, like, dump everything is just buy another SSD, plug it in, load Windows on that, and test it to make sure that does solve the problem before you go through the process of reloading Windows completely. 1440p as well. Yeah, 1440p will take a hit. But, I mean, that 3080Ti should be able to run 1440p, no problem. <coughs> I would say 1440p, 140-ish. 120 to 140 would be the ideal, like, range that you should be in.
But an idea would be if to kind of determine if it's software or hardware, you could buy another SSD, reload Windows on that without impacting your previous Windows installation, and then install Call of Duty, run it, and see what FPS you're getting with new drivers and everything on that new version of Windows. And that'll just tell you whether or not it's a software issue or a hardware issue at where, where your performance is coming from, or performance loss is coming from. And that'll ha you could do that without impacting your current installation because you can always just dump your other SSD back in and get back to it. Used to love learning about everything and messing around, but not anymore. I don't have time. No, I hear you. That's why people like me exist, right? <laughs> I'm here to serve you. Uh, I am just... You're just going to have to rush off, rush this laptop off and get this upgrade. I absolutely hate messing with computers now. <laughs> No, I hear you, man. I hear you. I hate messing with my own after I build everybody else's. <laughs> I actually have this project uh, for my PC for a huge upgrade, and it's just been sitting there, and I haven't done it. It's just I'm so meh nah, <laughs> about, about going through and doing it right now just because I, I came off of a huge build season last year we were at 733 builds man that is a lot of pcs to build in one year <laughs> so <laughs> this year we're uh i actually forgot to update that count but we're almost at 70 already which is slow a little slower than last year but the only reason i got the new mac was because uh to get the screen repaired apple told me 15 to three weeks out get it back so i was like well i cannot edit for three weeks and my pc cannot handle davinci <laughs> So I bought the new one, shipped the old one off, and got it back two days later. Insane. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, too. Whoops. A little bit of an elbow bump on the camera here. Not bad. All right, so we've got this done. Um, let's go ahead and clean up the hardware, put the back panel on, get it plugged in, and we'll fire it up. See what this bad boy finally looks like for the very first time. I look clean or what? Clean. Clean 99. What your cable management should look like on the back of any piece that you're paying. If you build it, you can do what you want. But if you're paying for it, you should have some pretty clean cable management. I spent 5.2 on the Mac. Woof. Woof. Uh, it was either a low spe spec one or the one I wanted, but had to take the one terabyte instead of the two terabyte, so I said whatever. Still, still heated, lol. Uh, LMAO, yes, yes. All right, plug it in, fire it up. Keep here ready to get this bad boy fired up for the very first time. All right, side view, and where is my mouse? There it is. Whoops. All right, let's do it. Correct this camera really quick. Kind of facing downward a little bit. There we go. Three... Two, 
One. Go. Look at that. Oh, phase red heart shape. Those for some reason do not come through this chat window. <laughs> All good though. Good job, thank you. And we have a post, so that's a good sign, right? It's amazing. Yes, it is definitely pretty good for the price. Can't really beat that. Not beat that. Here, let me let me sneak behind the computer here. Oh, oh. Not cool enough. Never mind. Uh, might use this current one as a stream PC once I upgrade it just so I can max out quality and still be cooling Can you throw in a capture card capture card would have to be on the stream PC? Yeah, the capture card would have to be on the streaming area. just found your channel. Oh nice welcome um, uh, Let's see here the capture card would have to be on the streaming PC Yeah, so for your situation for a laptop if it's a laptop that you're using for streaming you'd have to use an external uh external capture card like usb from elgato or something that's what i would look at and if you're trying to capture 1440p i think they make a couple of different ones but i think you'd need the 4k one hello it's amazing damn it's beautiful good job thank you Interesting. We just booted a Hirons. Did I not put the right? We just put, uh, we just booted a Ubuntu because I put my Ubuntu drive in there. Oops, not the Windows setup. Uh, no, I'd be using the gaming PC. I have now oh yeah 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 yeah. but you'll have to put the capture card in there i would recommend the internal capture card over the usb because it'll free up some of the usb lanes that you could use for cameras and other peripherals so i'd put that on the pcie lane with the capture card internal <clears throat> but yes that would have to be in the streaming pc not the gaming pc but it's easy to install i can literally walk you through it if you wanted me to Absolutely beautiful. You're beautiful. It's true. Wait, who is that? <laughs> Don't remember. Anywho, we're going to fire up Windows uh, setup. Get that going. And then I should have this actually ready for pickup. As soon as I figure out why my uh, mouse doesn't want to work. we 
we go. Weird. Is it worth it to go DDR if I'm getting a new motherboard anyway? Uh, DDR5. Um, what platform are you on again? Which CPU do you have? Intel i7, which i7 though? Is it an i7-12700? Is it an i7-13700? Is it an i7-14700? What i7 is it? Because there's different generations there. Um, that's important. Especially if you're upgrading a motherboard, you need to know which, which uh, CPU you got there. I know there's kind of a delay on YouTube. Sorry, guys. Uh, in front, I, I can't remember uh, off the top of my head. I'm away from the PC at the moment. Okay. Well, if you if you can, if you want, get that information. You can uh, just send it an email. Uh, I'll drop the email into the chat so you have that. Or you could send it to our Facebook page or Twitch. Um, I'm sorry, Twitter page. Twitter, Facebook, or our email. You can message us. Or at Empower Gaming PCS.com. So support at Empower Gaming PCS.com. But it looks like that only went to Twitch or Twitter. Didn't go to YouTube. Shoot. Why won't it let me? Hold on. Well, that's kind of silly. figure out why it's not letting me message there but I just dropped it into the chat over there on YouTube for you Doo -doo -doo. <clears throat> but all right Windows is underway PC is up and running we just got to finish the Windows drivers BIOS updates um, and then go through the battle tested phase and then we should have it ready to go within the next uh, i'd say like four hours or so um but i'm probably gonna run the battle testing through the evening just to be sure uh so it should be ready for pickup tomorrow let me know if you have any questions but really guys this is all i got for today it's just the one build that we're doing 
Uh, we will have some more builds later this week, upcoming. And then I do still have a couple of other cool plans, such as that Alienware build out. I have my PC to upgrade, as well as I'm going to clean my existing PC. I kind of let it go intentionally, so I'm going to do a, a full cleaning video on how to do that, how to clean your PC and maintain it. Um, and then I've got a PC flipping video that I'm working on, uh, which is basically how to flip a PC. So you could buy a PC off Marketplace or parts and things and then start flipping your own PC for profits. Your own PCs for profits. Uh, just to kind of show you how, how it's done. That's kind of how Empower Gaming Computers was started originally anyway. So I think the GPU has a problem because it's making a red signal. Really? Which uh, I didn't know you were doing a build right now. Are you, are you saying this? That? No, that's actually the SSD read-write light. So it's showing or indicating that there's data being either read or written to the SSD. So it's an activity light on the SSD, which is just above the graphics card there. So that's what that is. That's all. Just an activity light on the SSD. Some of them are blue, some of them are red, some of them are green. This one is red. Well, that's it guys i am gonna wrap this stream up let me know if anybody has any questions feel free to reach out on the facebook page or on the um twitter page or you can email us on that email which is support at empowergamingpcs.com uh or you can just go to the website and click contact us you have one what's up really quick are you going to make the next live stream so the next live stream should be sometime next week <laughs> i don't have an exact date because we're waiting for the parts for the build i believe all the parts should be here by monday which means we should be doing the build stream tuesday evening uh and we're eastern time so probably around 6 to 7 p.m eastern time is when we would start on the next one. Oh my god it looks amazing i'm so excited to pick it up <laughs> welcome sir um but yeah, the uh, the next stream will be probably Tuesday or Wednesday. But probably it's probably most likely going to be Tuesday. Tuesday evening, around 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern time is when we'll start. And this PC here, Ro Rowan, will be ready... Uh, for pickup probably tomorrow i still have to finish windows installation drivers bios updates and then go through the battle tested phase to make sure it's good to go uh, which we'll be doing through the evening and then we'll uh we'll have it ready for pickup probably tomorrow uh tomorrow morning so and if you missed the stream definitely feel free to go back and watch but you can watch on youtube or uh twitch or kick But anyway, I was wrapping up the stream as it was, so we're all set. Build turned out amazing. We just got to finish it up, and we'll have it ready for pickup tomorrow. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to shoot me an email or give me a call. Um, but uh, have a good night, guys. I'll see you on the next one probably on Tuesday around 6.30. 6, between 6 and 7 p.m. is when our start time will be for the next stream. But thanks for joining us. Have a good Saturday and a good rest of your weekend, guys. We'll see you on the next one.
not sir. I apologize. Your name throws me off. And I pretty much call everybody sir. <laughs> so, to be fair. Your name, I, I actually, in the beginning of the stream, you'll find, you'll probably laugh. Um, because in the beginning of the stream, I actually commented on your name to make sure I was saying it right. Um, Ro Ro Rowan is, I believe, what it's pronounced. But you could correct me if I'm wrong when I see you. <laughs> so I apologize. I'm terrible at this stuff. I'm good at building PCs. Bad at names. Have a good one, man. I'll see you tomorrow. Ma'am.